Today we're going to be seeing if I can make this Logitech C922 Pro Stream webcam look as close as possible to this Canon M50 uh, webcam or camera that I'm actually using as a webcam right now. So let me go ahead and plug this in and we'll see what we can do. So now I am switched over to the Logitech Pro Stream webcam or the C922 um, and it really doesn't look too bad. It's a really good starting point and you know the angle's a little wider than the other camera. Color's a little more washed out um, or a little more dull rather. Uh, but we'll see what we can do here. Currently, the only light I have on is, well, not even on. I don't have any lights on. I just have a window right here, which is what's causing a little bit of light to come in on that side of my face. Um, but first thing we're going to cover is lighting. So for lighting, I actually just got the Logitech uh, Litra Glow uh, lights, and they just mount on your monitor, and they actually work really, really well. I'm going to do a review on them soon. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to place one pretty much right beside uh, the webcam just to the left of it on the monitor. I currently have the webcam just uh, mounted on the monitor as well, right in the middle. So let me go ahead and turn this light on and we'll see uh, what that does. As you can see, it is a little bit bright and overexposed. So the good thing about these lights, um, which I'll make a video on uh, eventually, is you can actually just turn them down. So I don't know why it's like zooming in and out when I press on these, but uh, we're just gonna deal with it. So we can adjust the exposure and stuff more later, but for now, I'm gonna add a little bit of light to my face over here and uh, make sure that side of my face is lit up well. So uh, that definitely helped brighten it up a little bit. I also have another light on this side of me, but I don't even think I'm gonna use that one um, because I do have the window for the natural light on this side and it looks like it's already bright enough. So that's really all you need for a lighting setup is just one light, uh, you know, right beside or right, yeah, right beside uh, your camera, or your webcam. Uh, shining directly at your face, um, ideally on whichever side of your face is darkest. If you do have a darker room or you don't have a window like me or it's nighttime, I do recommend you get a second light because then you can just turn it on and you don't have to rely on a window uh, for light or anything. You just have uh, two light setup and that will really work for really any uh, room, any setup. Uh, just having a light as your main light and then a side light for the other side of your face. All right, guys, now we are going to take a look at the Logitech G Hub uh, software where you can, you know, edit settings um, for the camera as well as the other uh, devices like the lights. Um, you can also do on here if you don't use the back buttons. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about the C922. So let's go ahead and click into here. And now you can see my webcam on here. Um, so we're going to go ahead over to uh, the left here under camera and the first thing we're going to want to do is change the zoom um this is personal preference this doesn't really affect the quality too much but i'm just going to zoom it in uh right about there is how i like it just so it kind of matches um, my other camera angle um then autofocus i recommend you just turn this off which means you want this to not be uh white uh just leave it grayed out um and you can adjust focus if you need to but usually just leaving it all the way down um is pretty much your best bet here um, so just put that all the way down. Now exposure, you want to make sure this is not on auto exposure. Um, in my opinion, I think it just, it's going to be changing your exposure all the time. And that's not what you want if you want a consistent, good look. So we're just going to turn that off and then edit it, uh, manually. Uh, we can tweak these in OBS after we're done here, but basically you just want to make sure it's not overexposed. So I think, you know, right there, it's a little bit too exposed for my liking. So I think right there. Um, although it does look a little bit underexposed, a little too dark, uh, we can brighten that up in OBS here in just a moment. So uh, that's my recommendation on exposure. Make sure it's not overexposed. I'd rather have it a little bit underexposed because we can brighten it up in OBS. For priority, I recommend just leaving it on uh, frame rate. So then we're going to go over to video. Now here, I usually don't mess too much with these because we are going to be messing with these types of settings in the OBS filters. Um, so I usually just kind of leave these alone. Uh, the only one here I would recommend you mess with if needed is the white balance. Um, I think my white balance looks pretty decent. Um, I tend to gauge this off of my skin tone because um, you don't want to be looking uh, you know, way too cold and blue like this. But you also don't want to be looking way too warm and, and uh, red like this. So uh, you, auto again, just like auto exposure, I don't really like it on auto because then it's going to go from blue to red to all kinds of weird colors. So uh, you just want it to be consistent. So put it at a spot, you know, you're pretty comfortable with that looks all right. Again, you can adjust this a little bit uh, in OBS in a moment. So this doesn't have to be exact, 
Um, but this will give you a good starting point whenever you do get back into the OBS filters. All right, guys, now we're going to use our OBS filters to really make the final touches on this webcam. So we're gonna go to webcam here. You can right click it or just click right here on filters. Uh, and then we're gonna go to effect filters here on the left, um, click the plus. And we're gonna add a color correction filter, just hit okay. Um, and here's where you can mess with your gamma, contrast, brightness, saturation, hue shift. Um, and really that's about it. So basically, uh, this is going to de uh, depend on, you know, how your camera is looking at this point. Um, I think my saturation could come up a little bit. That's going to make the colors pop a little more. For instance, on my poster here, I'd like it to be a little brighter green. Um, downside of that is it is going to make my face, uh, you know, more red. Um, but see if you, d you definitely don't want to overdo it. Um, yeah, it makes the poster look really green, but then I'm really red. So. We don't want that we might just bring it up just just a little bit you know maybe by point in point 15 uh something like that i might leave this right about there on point 11. um that brightened it up a little bit um as far as the colors go um now as you can see it's still a little bit underexposed so i'm gonna play around with the gamma and then if that doesn't work i might mess around with the brightness and uh just kind of see uh how i can get the webcam to look so make this a little bit bigger here for you guys but yeah, now we're going to go to gamma by bumping that up. Uh, as you can see, that does bring it up uh, in brightness, but you do get more noise whenever you bring the gamma up and things like this. Um, so this is where having just good lighting um, is most ideal. But with a webcam instead of a real camera, it, it's going to be a little fuzzier because um, it just doesn't have the sensor size that like a real camera does to really pick up all that light. Um, but, you know, I might just bump this up just a little bit just to, you know, take the edge off of some of that darkness. I might just do a 0 0.16 on the gamma. Uh, and then the brightness, it's really washing it out to bring that up. So I think we're gonna leave that at zero. And uh, I might kind of leave it here. It is dark, but again, I'm in a room painted black um, and the bottom of these posters are black. So I kind of expect it to kind of just blend into the wall. Uh, can't really expect more than that. Um, uh, hue shift, this is essentially your white balance. Um, so I don't really like the color of my skin tone right now. It's kind of looking, I don't know, a little odd. So I'm going to play around with this and see if I can warm it up. By moving this left a little bit, it's already made it better. If I go too far left, you know, it'll start turning me different colors. So you don't want to do that. Um, and if I go the opposite direction, you know, it'll turn me more red. Um, so if you're looking a little bit red, just bring it left a little bit or more into the negatives. So we're going to bring it right about there. I think is you know, pretty decent. So that's really it for making your webcam look better. So this is the final product of our C922 webcam settings video. Um, I'll put up on screen the other camera as well from the beginning of the video just so you can kind of compare both of them. I'll do a couple back and forth just so you can see. Um, but the Logitech webcam really is not that bad. You know, if you configure your settings right and you have decent lighting, uh, you can really get some good quality out of this. It's really good for, you know, if you're streaming, recording YouTube videos, anything. Um, you really don't need an expensive $500, $600 plus camera setup. Um, all you really need is this webcam, which is I think under $100, it might be like $50, I'm not even sure. Um, but I'll link to the webcam as well as the lights I'm using in the description if you do want to check those out. Um, it will support the channel as I earn a commission on them at no extra cost to you. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.